Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. The gold is firming around 775 or so. As we indicated to you, gold needs to be bought on the dips. Most people are focusing on gold as a speculative bubble. We remind you gold is a commodity. Gold demand is heading into its most feverish uh, season. Uh, with the end of Ramadan in a few days, the arrival of the uh, wedding season called Diwali, the Festival of Lights in India, and on and so on into our and Western European holiday season buying. While gold demand is picking up and central banks are buying tons of gold, they bought about five times as much gold this year as they did last. What we are uh, needing to keep in mind is that gold supply is declining. A number of gold miners have uh, had less than less positive results in their mining efforts. In, in other words, the, their production is declining year to year. They're having to mine deeper and therefore more dangerously, and they're getting less quality, less excuse me, a lower grade of ore. So this combination of demand increases and supply issues. Remember, there's no increase in gold demand projected at least till 2016 when a new gold mine is expected to come online, a new gold mine of some consequence. So we, we ask you to keep in mind that there are in fact solid reasons to be buying gold in through here. Uh, we have a number of uh, daily and intraday strategies we employ to profit in gold. If you'd like to learn about those, please give me a call on 781-380-8888. As you know, I have never been fond of Pakistan, and I must point out to you this latest stunt of showing the Chinese our stealth helicopter. Now, you know, presumably they were doing that kind of thing before, uh, but now for them to be overt about it is an indication to me that we should immediately stop our economic aid to Pakistan. I, I, I hate to say it this way, but we seem to have adopted this we seem to have perpetuated this world policeman viewpoint, and we've built up uh, quote-unquote allies who have large armies and standing national police forces and all kinds of weapons themselves. Why don't we let them figure out how to solve their own problems and worry about how to get jobs for regular American people? That's just what I think. Uh, Let's get some jobs for regular American people. Let's get that money back from places that don't want us there anyway. And if we're going to worry about our defense, let's worry about uh, our defense from a strategic standpoint and using enlightened self-interest rather than ideology. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Keep swinging.